everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome as well. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review slash haul of Dollar General makeup. I am so excited because everything I bought is under $5 each, which is their entire makeup line. Their entire makeup line is under $5. Um, so I was really, really, really excited when I went to Dollar General and I saw that they had their own makeup line and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I knew that they did because I've previously, I've seen videos where they've gone to Dollar General and um, they've shown the makeup that they have there. And I'm like, you know, I, I need to make a trip over to Dollar General and pick me up some of that makeup. So today is going to be all about Dollar General makeup. And if you want to just see that, just keep on watching before we get started with today's video. Like always, if you enjoyed it so far, it would be fabulous if you'd hit the like button down below and subscribe too. So that way you never miss when I upload. All right, everybody, let's get started. So I have an entire bag here full of Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree? Well, they are owned by the same company, so... I'm not really wrong. Um, no, I have an entire bag full of Dollar General makeup and we are just going to get started. So what should I start with first? I picked up two of the primers. I believe there are three total. So I picked these two up and this first one is a very light baby pink one. And this is called Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. And then this one is a light blue one. Um, and we're going to see what color this is, uh, and it is a color correcting primer, um, and it says pretty and primed color correcting primer on the front. So these are the primers and I'm going to, I don't know, stay put makeup primer or color correcting. I don't know. I'm going to probably open these both up and see which one I like best. So as soon as I opened up the pink one, this is what came out. We are opening up the blue one. So as you can see, it has a slight tint to it. So I don't know, which one should I use? I don't know, I'll surprise you guys. I'm just gonna use the Stay Put Makeup Primer. Um, I will use the blue one in another video. And I don't know why I just lifted that up. We all know this is the blue one. Um, so I'm just going to apply this one And I'm just going to dab it all over my face and I'm just going to blend it out using my fingers. And this smells like a really, really, really light scented lotion. And it's not sticky at all. It is very lotion-y. <laughs> um, and it's spreading quite nicely on my face. And it feels very moisturizing too. Okay, so I let this set for about two minutes, and now we're going to move on to the foundation, and this is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation, and this is a ASMR. It's a glass bottle, and it is in the shade Cashmere. They actually had a really nice shade range, I thought, um, and I thought this one was pretty close to my skin tone so we shall see i'm just going to use my oval brush right here and we're just going to pop this open gotta take the security tag off so this is what the bottle looks like i think it looks really nice high quality um so we are just going to apply it onto my oval brush here and see Okay, so this should be enough for my entire face. So here we go. And I'm going to make my final decisions on it after I blend it out completely. It smells. I don't know how to describe this. It smells kind of... It... Smells like makeup, but it also smells very, it smells kind of like paint almost, but it's not a really, really strong 
scent in my opinion. Okay, so what do we think? I think it's a really, really good match to my natural skin tone. I really think it's, I don't know, I think it's really nice. Um, so it feel, it doesn't feel thick, but it feels like I have something on my face. Um, and it, it's really good at covering, um, my redness on my face. Um, but it really, it, it's just really nice. I don't know what else to say. Honestly, I think it's a good foundation, especially for what, under $5. And of course I'm going with a red lip for my look today to match my nails. I bought two of the lip pencils and this one is like a mauve, mauve, however you want to say it, color and it's called Almost Rose. It's very pretty. I'm going to swatch that on the back of my hand. Um, and this is the one that I'm going to use and this is called So Chic, Chic, once again, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and it's the Long Lasting Lip Liner. So I'm just going to swatch this on the back of my hand as well as the other shade. So that is what this looks like. Very pretty. And let me just make it a little bit thicker so you can see. Very pretty, very pigmented. And it feels really creamy once I apply it on the back of my hand. So now I'm going to swatch this one. Oh, that is a beautiful shade right there. That is perfect for when I want to do my natural makeup makeup look. So now I'm just going to line my lips. And I'm probably going to go out of my natural lip shape for this look because why not? Don't I look glamorous? Also purchased two of these and I think, no, excuse me. One is the Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. And then this one is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this, uh, the liquid lipstick is in the shade Cherry on Top. And the lip gloss is in the shade First date. For this look, we have to keep it rated red. So I have to go in with the liquid lipstick. This reminds me of something, but I can't think of it. It's not fruity. It's not sweet. It has a slight chemical smell to it, but I don't remember what it makes me, what it reminds me of. So I'm just going to fill in my lippies. And the reason why I picked up this shade is because I saw it on another YouTuber's um, video and I I just thought, oh my gosh, it's red lipstick. I don't have it. I need it. So, and I got it. So this applies really nice, really smooth, but I have no idea what the staying power is. So this is what it looks like. Mm, very nice, very creamy. Uh, definitely does not feel um, like it's going to stay on for very long. Definitely feels like it's going to transfer. Um, and I don't recommend when you wear red lipstick, especially liquid lipsticks, to eat anything that has like oil in it because then that will break up the formulas. So I'm going to just swatch the lip gloss for you so you can see that. Oh, okay. This is very, very watery yet sticky um and it's not really okay see how colorful this tube is it's like oh my gosh that's so pretty oh my goodness and then here's the swatch right there um not my cup of tea i had multiple eyeshadow palettes to choose from so i had to pick this one that has the blue shades to get a real feel on these shades, I'm just going to blend them out with my fingers. Um, and so far, I think these colors are really nice and pretty. I just opened this up. I haven't swatched these yet. Um, but just looking at them, I'm, I'm impressed so far. So I'm going to start off with the white shade and just take my finger. That is what one swatch does. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very nice. 
So I'm just going to just dab it on my lid. And this is going to be my background shade. So it's going on nice and smooth. Uh, you can definitely tell that there's color on this eyelid as opposed to this one. Because um, I've actually tried eyeshadows in the past where I apply it to my eyelid and it's like, where did it go? I don't see any anything on my eyelid. Um, so now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply it to my outer corner very lightly and then blend. So this is where we are at so far. And this is just with my finger. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. I'm going to take the dark blue shade and I'm just going to find a clean finger. Oh, that's watched very nicely. And I'm going to just apply it to the edge. Let me just open up one of my charcoal infused makeup wipes. Ta-da! And this green tea scented and you get 30 wipes. Let's just wipe this up a little bit. Create a little bit of a sharp edge there. Okay, so now I'm going to take the silver shade right here and I'm just going to... There we go. And I think I'm going to apply it on my inner corners. Oh, that's a good idea. That is such a good idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Definitely. Very nice. Very nice. So now I'm just going to take a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend the top portion of where my brow bone is and just clean that up a little bit. Just kidding. I had to add more blue. I had to add more of the dark blue eyeshadow. I mean, to complete this look, I think it looks much better. Multiple pairs of lashes to choose from. I picked these up to look at the lashes. Now I usually use my Igloo Premium Lash Adhesive, but today I'm going to use the glue that's on the very back. So I'm going to apply these lashes off camera and I will see you soon. I'm applying the eyelash and it's not really working out too well. I would not recommend this glue that it comes with. Okay, so if you hear noise in the background, it's just my fan. Um, so these lashes are not uh, they're not something I would recommend I've been trying to fix it and blend and blend and bend them to just fit around my eye um, and I use I ended up using my igloo lash glue because th that other glue is just not working out I'm just going to start on my lower lash line all right, so the last step is the setting spray, and this is the Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray, and we're just going to spray away. Mm, that smells really good, and it definitely has like a lotion smell, so that's very nice, very calming it doesn't have a very overpowering it doesn't it's not overpowering um and now i can't even smell the the scent anymore so it it, it once it applies on your skin you smell it and then it just goes goes away so out of all of the products that i tried my least favorites are the eyelashes the eyelash glue and the um, lip gloss because uh, I did not really like how it was so colorful in the tube and then when I swatched it it was kind of like Ugh. all right everybody so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did hit that like button down below and subscribe too so that we never miss when I upload and let me know in the comments below what your favorite product is at Dollar General if you have tried the makeup out before and what else do you like to buy at Dollar General? 
I would love to read those comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.